Welcome back to Sailing Catalpa. So I least spit a fish yesterday and I don't know what's in the air today, but... So there's a tip for everybody if you want to keep your greens... Thai fish cakes. That's how you make them. Green, baby, we can dream farther than our eyes have ever seen. I don't want to grow up. So it's a nice sunny day today. There's not much wind. Um, so what we're going to do is make some water and do the washing. We use our generator to power our alternating current Rain Man water maker that lives under the bed in the aft cabin. Before we open the valve to fill our water tanks, we check the water to make sure it's okay to drink. This is a water tester that tests the PPM, parts per million, which means their salt content. Lower than 500 PPM is good. Once there is water going into our tanks, we fill our washing machine. Pour in some suds. We use the generator to also power our washing machine that is run by 240 volts. Then our stinky clothes and sheets go into the tub and it washes the stink right out. This little twin tub is brilliant. One side for washing and the other to rinse and spin. It's not a quick process, but it beats the hell out of washing in a bucket. It's a team effort getting all the washing done. Looking ahead, it doesn't look like that washing is going to dry today. We had all the washing up. It was nearly, nearly dry. It was like so close to being dry and then this big front came through and we had to pull it all in and now we've put it all back out. It takes you half the day to wash clothes on a boat. <laughs> Doesn't it, honey? It does. But we're not grotty yotties anymore. We're oh, clean. Yeah, clean. I make break daily and for lunch we cooked up the fish lee court and made a salad. A little bit of uh, rainbow runner followed by a little bit of sourdough. Straight in the middle there. Oh, look at that thing go. <laughs> Good reckon? job, babe. That Good. fish is delicious. You like it? Special recipe. I'll show you that one after. <laughs> okay. What do you reckon, Taz, Bella? And I don't know what's in the air today, but... Um, it's 1.15, right, in the afternoon. <laughs> There's one. There's two. Three. All asleep. They're all asleep. We had a surf this morning and I guess they just bored their little selves out. Yeah. everybody's asleep. No one's gonna eat the lunch that I've made. So maybe I'll keep cooking. I'm preparing some bread. Yeah, the surf's not that great anymore. But we might get one in later if they all decide to wake up. I've been watching you. You've been watching me too, right? <laughs> Can you picture you and me in the darkness? Kissing, touching.
So I least feared a fish yesterday, um, a big GT, a giant trevally, and it's not our favourite fish, but it was it's great to get a fish. We ate it last night, just crumbed, um, but it is a bit of a stronger flavour fish, so usually the first day we'll eat it like that, and then the second day I get a little bit more creative. So today I'm making Thai fish cakes with it, and I just, I've pretty much done it, but I just thought I'd show you from now what I'm doing. So I just blended up the trevally with some red curry paste and some ginger and garlic, some lemongrass, a bit of fish sauce and lime. And I'm just gonna roll them into little balls and fry them up. There they are, some fish cakes. I cook them in sesame oil because I like the flavor. So, they're really good. They don't even, I thought I wanted sweet chili, but we don't have any left. But they're pretty tasty on their own. So it ends up, I did have sweet chili, fish cake, sweet chili, all set. And it's from, um, <laughs> it's like a Thai sweet chili. It's really spicy. <laughs> so that's what you do if you've got old fish, or well not old fish, but if your fish is a little bit stronger on the stronger side, or you don't like trevally, or you don't like a certain fish, it's a really good way to um, make something yummy. Thai fish cakes. That's how you make them. Now I've been sitting here most of the day Don't know why it's so hard to tear myself away I can almost hear the ocean talking to me Saying What are you waiting for? lunch ready to at least cook some sausages on the barbecue I made a potato bake and it's been two weeks I think since we left Malaysia I what I did provision wise is I with our greens obviously all our lettuce is gone well, most of our greens have gone but um, I contained some sprouts I contained some all our lettuce everything I put paper towel in containers took all the out of the packaging and put the sprouts in the container We've got one more container of sprouts and I just want to see if they've held up. So this is two weeks after shopping and we've been not anywhere and we've got greens! <laughs> Look at that! They're not even gone bad at all. So there's a tip for everybody. If you want to keep your greens, put them in a container, put some paper towel on the top and the bottom and they won't go rotten. Quickly. That last two weeks. Living on a boat, we have limited food, so whenever we're in the water, we always keep our eye out for fish, usually free diving with a spear gun or two. That way we can keep these hungry and growing teenagers fed. We enjoy hunting for our food, taking what we need, and well, sometimes having to make do with just eating rice. But not today. Mashed potato, last of our greens. This little sprouts. Curl trout. Thanks for watching that episode guys. I'm going to end this video with how to draw a wave in under one minute with just a pen, a pencil and a rubber and some paper. I start off with a rough sketch with my pencil to get an idea of what I'll be drawing.
Then I lightly erase the previous sketch and add a more refined sketch over the top of it. Once the refined sketch is complete, I go ahead and add my line work. I hope you like this little video today. If you want to check out more of my art, go check it out at artoftage.com. I'll see you later.